Hello everybody. Uh, this video will be about uh, discontinuity survey. It's very important to do in the field when we uh, investigate uh, rock walls or uh, any other um, surfaces. Uh, we will uh, need to find, uh, detect and uh, describe all discontinuities. And uh, I will show you how to do it. Again, we have this uh, rock wall simulation and we have uh, different types of uh, discontinuities like bedding planes and just another set of discontinuities. Um, what uh, we will typically do is we'll do a scan line analysis when we have some imaginary line. For example, it will be a line like this. And then what we'll do next, so we're gonna go from the left uh, to the right and we're going to find and uh, describe each discontinuity that we have. So, um, what are the most important things about discontinuity? First of all, it's type. So when we look at discontinuity, for example, if we see this one, that's discontinuity. So this is a bearing plane discontinuity. Uh, this one will be just a plane set of discontinuities. Sometimes we have uh, shear planes, sometimes we have something else. So usually when uh, you have uh, this kind of survey, uh, you have some options about type. It can be fold, joints, or cleavage, uh, shear, and uh, foliation or bedding. So next, uh, uh, once we identify the type, uh, we will need to measure deep in deep direction. Please watch my other video, how to measure deep in deep direction uh, for uh, either beddings or for discontinuities. So next uh, will be a persistence. So for each of the joints that we have here, for example, this one or bedding plane, uh, we need to estimate persistence, which will show you the length uh, of the um, discontinuity. So basically, if I want to look at uh, this uh, discontinuity, we need to measure uh, how long it is. So that will be uh, about uh, almost one meter. So we're going to record this one and write that uh, this, the persistence is uh, one meter and record it in this uh, spreadsheet, right? Um, another important thing about uh, discontinuous when you look at that is uh, aperture. Sometimes uh, um, these joints are open, sometimes they're closed, and uh, another thing, there can be some feeling in it. So uh, we need to record it uh, during uh, site investigation. Uh, if the joints are open, like this one, uh, we need to measure the aperture. So in this case, the aperture will be about uh, three millimeters. Um, this uh, joint, which is a bedding plane joint, it's closed, it's tightly closed. Uh, we don't have anything with the filling here, but sometimes you will see that uh, there's some soil, like maybe clay or sand. So in this case, we still need to record um, uh, what is inside the joint. Um, another important thing is uh, surface roughness and uh, uh, there is a video how to measure surface roughness, please watch that one. And um, uh, another thing that we can get and which is pretty important because we use it in uh, many classification systems, it's spacing. So uh, what we need to do is uh, once uh, we um, draw this imaginary line, we just measure spacing bet bet between each of these continuities and record it. Uh, another thing that we can do, we just count number of uh, discontinuities along this line. For example, that will be, uh, if we start from here, this is one, two, uh, three, uh, four, five, six, uh, then uh, here, seven, eight, nine. So uh, we, we just count this number and then we use this number to uh, estimate the spacing. Um, as I already mentioned, uh, the spacing and uh, the count of discontinuities, it's very important because it will give you some idea about the strength of rock mass. That's why uh, we need to measure it. Thank you for your attention.